Hey y'all, Haptic here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Fabric Mod Loader as well as how to load the Sodium, Lithium, Phosphor, Krypton, and Lazy DFU mods for Minecraft version 1.16.1. This is the most optimal and up-to-date version used for speedrunning at the time of recording, so it's what I'll be demonstrating with. Any links referenced will be located in the description below, as well as the socials of anybody I mention in this video. If you watch the whole thing and you still have questions or concerns, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll get back to as many people as I can. Without further ado, let's get on with the tutorial. First, you're going to want to go to fabricmc.net slash use and download the installer that works for your operating system. I've got Windows, so I'm going to download the .exe file. If you have Mac or Linux, or just want to feel like a special little Windows user, download the .jar file. Next, you're going to hop on over to Mr. Mango Hands' GitHub by clicking the link labeled Sodium Releases in the description, where you'll download the most recent version, which will be at the top of the page in big blue text. Mine says Sodium 1.16.1 Backport, etc., so we're going to just click on the link and look below for the file with the same name as the link you just clicked. Not either of the source code links, you just want the first link. Select it, click the save button, and repeat the same steps for Lithium, Phosphor, and Krypton with the links in the description. LazyDFU is hosted on a similar site, Modrinth, where you need to click Versions and then the little download icon to the left of the most recent release. Make sure you download all of these files in the same place, for example the desktop, so that you can easily locate them later. Then. Find the fabric installer you just downloaded a few minutes ago, and we're going to double click it to run the program. Windows might tell you that the publisher couldn't be verified, don't worry about this, we know what we're downloading. After we click run, it'll open up a small window with some options you can change. Set the Minecraft version to the correct one you want to install, for me it's 1.16.1. Make sure the loader version is set to the most recent one, mine is 0.11.2. The install location should be correct for everyone. And finally, make sure the create profile box is checked and you're ready to click install. Once that's done, another little window will pop up telling you it's successfully installed and that many mods also require you to put fabric API in the mods folder. Do not, and I repeat, do not install fabric API if you're speedrunning. You do not need it and it doesn't boost Minecraft's performance in any way. Fabric API is banned from speedrunning, and your run will most likely be rejected if you have it in your mods folder. It's useful for other mods that use Fabric Loader, but none of the mods here require it. Next, you're going to want to navigate to where Fabric Loader just installed its assets. If you're on Windows, go to the search icon in the bottom left corner of your screen on the taskbar and search percent app data percent. This will take you to where your .minecraft folder is located. This is the source of all your game files and something that you'll be accessing a lot if you plan to do more game modifications in the future. After opening your .minecraft folder, you'll see a long list of other folders and text documents. After installing Fabric, there should be a new folder labeled Mods somewhere in here. This is where you want to place all of the mod files you just downloaded. Select all five, then just drag and drop them into the folder. Lastly, boot up a fresh instance of Minecraft, close down any windows of Minecraft you had open prior, and open up your game version's drop-down menu in the bottom left of the launcher. In this, you should see a new profile labeled Fabric Loader dash Loader Version dash Minecraft Version. It'll also have a profile image that looks like a banner pattern. Once you attempt to boot up this version of Minecraft for the first time, it'll warn you that the profile you're using is modified. Well, duh, we're the ones modifying it. So go ahead and check the I understand and don't warn me again box, and voila! You have just downloaded Sodium, Lithium, Phosphor, Krypton, and Lazy DFU. Check out how much faster your game runs. And if you want to check out the best settings for speedrunning and learn how to use the new E counter strats that let you see through the nether like never before, be on the lookout for my next video that'll hopefully be coming out any day now. If this tutorial helps you out in your path to snatching the world record, share it with whoever needs help. 
give that like button a slap, and if you want to become a complete Minecraft speedrunning guru, absolutely obliterate that subscribe button to be notified when my latest video comes out. Your support is always appreciated, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Peace.